What's up, Kwan? What up, Mark? How you doing, man? Good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. You've been up to a lot of things lately with Jazz Webshed? Yeah, I've been trying to keep my members up to date on um, what I've been doing, just going through this whole process with releasing my CD, Prevail. Yeah, you've put out a lot of content on Prevail, lots of videos, lots of even a blog about how the, the process that you use to get ready for Prevail. That's right. I sure did. I mean, it's a lot of things that go on uh, in addition to the music. And one thing, well, not just one thing, but a lot of things that I learned uh, about this whole process is that you have to communicate to people. Yeah. And that communication can be divided up because what I mean by that, I have an audience uh, of people who just want to hear my music. Yeah. And then I have an audience of people who want to learn, mm -hmm. you know. And, of course, on the Internet, you got people who are looking at you from all over the world. So I've just learned how to better uh, communicate ideas and what I'm doing, you know, because people follow you on Twitter, people follow you on Facebook, people follow you on YouTube. So all of these different perspectives and stuff like that. So I just thought it'd be great to create videos about the songs and um, create videos about the release party that I did and also talk to my members in Jazz Webshed about this whole process and all of these little things that I'm doing, you know, to make it happen. Okay, so you're doing a lot of this stuff within Jazz Webshed. What is Jazz Webshed? Jazz Webshed is what I call the online shed for jazz musicians. And I started it back in 2009. And before then, I had an idea of getting paid, how to get paid for practicing. Because I've always been one that uh, was always spending a lot of hours practicing. And I was always recording a lot of rehearsals and performances. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to have a way that I could... Um, take all of this information, put it into a site, mm -hmm. and the music that I recorded and all of that from rehearsals, put it all into a place that could be a shed, you know, in both senses of the word, in terms of the aspect of having a storage shed, mm -hmm. and also the aspect of shedding, like how we right. look at it as musicians, right. practicing and growing. So um, it is an archive of resources that pertain to practicing. It has licks in there that I've came up with and collected over time. I have PDF um, uh, files that cats can download, play-alongs that they can play through the blues and uh, one to five progressions. And anytime I get ideas for different things that I'm working on, I put it in the site and share it with the members. So that's what Jazz Web Shed is. Great. Do you have content on there, uh, like recordings of yourself playing at different performances, or is it just strictly educational? Oh, no. I have some uh, different clips and uh, recordings from different gigs that I've done, and um, it's actually a link inside called Video MP3 Gallery. Mm -hmm. And so every now and then, from me collecting um, music from gigs and stuff that I played, I'll just go and upload all of these tracks in there and I have it available for the members to download. And of course, this is only for members. A lot of the stuff that I yeah. release in here, uh, I always hear different members let me know, hey, I was listening to this track when you was playing in D.C. back in this time. And I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. But, yeah. you know, I can have those type of mm -hmm. Uh, reactions from people uh, within the the jazz web share community just because I decided to put up those gigs that I played and forgot about yeah, and yeah. they can learn something from it yeah so I've heard you use the word member several times mm -hmm. in the past few minutes how much is a membership the membership is uh, $25 a month and uh, you have your seven-day free trial where you can check stuff out and then after that, it's just $25 a month. And um, that's, that's the membership. Great. Do you uh, offer any online lessons or anything like that? Yes, I do. I, all, I also 
offer private lessons, one-on-one -on -one lessons, and you can find out information on kwamanfowler.com forward slash lessons, or you can click on the services tab on my website and lessons is there. And um, But I do offer lessons and I also give a discount for those that are taking lessons. Actually, those who are members of Jazz Web mm -hmm. they get a discount. Oh, wonderful. Now, let's talk a little bit about your credentials. Okay. I know you've accomplished quite a few things. Okay. I mean, one of the things that really stands out in my mind is the Thelonious Monk competition back mm -hmm. in, was it 2008? 2008, uh-huh. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about some of the stuff that you've done. Oh, well, I guess the, the latest um, award that I have won, that I won, is, is the Thelonious Monk Jazz International Jazz Saxophone Competition. That's a big competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was actually uh, one that I wanted to do for a long time when I was back in high school and I was admiring uh, Joshua Redman because he won, I believe, back in 91 or so. Mm -hmm. And so I would look at the requirements for the competition and then I said, I want to do that competition, and I'm gonna win that competition one of those one of these days. And um, just worked hard, kept going through the process, and, mm -hmm. and pushing, and transcribing, and going through the growing pains, mm -hmm. and was able to accomplish that goal. Yeah, well, certainly it's turned you into an amazing musician. Every time I listen to you, you just get better and better with each CD <laughs> release and every live performance. I just and con continually impressed with your performances every time. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Well, we appreciate you answering some questions about Jazz Web Shed. Oh, thank you, Mark. Thank you for your time. Catch you later. Okay.